Now, as we move on, there's been a lot of talks on what's going to happen with Kenny Omega when his contract does expire with All Elite Wrestling. He got a promo after Blood and Guts saying that he's sticking with the Elite wherever they go, he goes, wherever he goes, they go, this and that, and blah, blah, blah. And Dave Meltzer had a write-up about all of this, provided an update on if it is still possible for Omega to jump to WWE or if he's going to stay in AEW and the prevailing, you know, consensus is maybe staying. They all may be staying with AEW as Meltzer wrote the following. The prevailing belief is that the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega and Adam Hangman Page are staying. The interview Omega did off air in Boston would have led you to believe that that is the case. The interview was also originally supposed to be on television as was the handshake between the Golden Elite and the BCC, which seemed to signal the end of a feud at this point. If that Omega thing was on television, with the mention of them sticking together, that's where so many people believed they were staying and they were there was no deal. None of those involved have said if that is what that line meant. We do not know, or we do know, from a WWE standpoint, that months ago, they had the impression that they had a good shot at Omega in 2024, and he was the most coveted of all the guys being talked about, like Jay White and others. That has gone cold, so they do believe he may be staying with AEW. Tony Khan, making things, making a big offers, indicates and hopes that thoughts of a huge rates with uh, thoughts of a huge rights increase, in which case big money is coming into the company and big money deals could be made. As we note weekly, television is in a weird state right now, and it's the least stable it's ever been. And for TV to commit to something new, something new years in the future, something new years in the future will be interesting. 